all we are is vessels for a message that uh, where the change is long overdue. I mean, this has affected people for decades upon decades, and it, it took us to stand up to make a difference. And I'm just glad that we kind of start push the rock over the mountain because it, it needed to be pushed a long time ago. Sometimes when people face challenges, challenges that can seem insurmountable, whether that be gun safety, whether that be the environment, whether that be ending poverty in our world, they feel that the problems are just too overwhelming and the adversity is too great. Can you share with us an example when you maybe had that sentiment, where you felt the adversity was too great and what gave you the courage to push through it? You know, days before the march, I was with my friends and we were staring this big, scary and important thing in the face and we thought, what are we doing? We're a bunch of students who are trying to make a positive change in the world, but we are about to be dealing with something that is so much bigger than us. But we realized pretty quickly that we aren't creating, the, not me, part of me, we aren't this change. We are part of this big, beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. We saw the other students organizing walkouts. We saw students seeking out the leadership positions into which we were thrust. And we saw, we, there's so much support everywhere. So even when you feel like it's too much and you're chasing a white whale and it's impossible, realize that there are people all over the country that you can get in touch with that want to help you, that want to talk to you, that want to offer your support, their support. And both of you are incredible activists, incredible change makers. Can you tell me how did the teachers influence your journey to be here today? Oh, teachers have had an insane influence. I mean, my own mother is a teacher in the public school system. So, I mean, it's really close to my heart. Um, but obviously, like you said, our teachers are our rocks. So many of them have been so supportive of this whole thing. They remind us constantly every day that they're behind us no matter what, all our lives. And, you know, a lot of my courses have really helped me through all of this because I take a lot of AP classes where we synthesize a lot of things and we think deeper into the problems and we have discussions rather than them just teaching us. Um, so it's really important to get, engage in conversation and that's what kind of helped me engage in conversation in the real world because we did it so much in the classroom. For people who find a cause and they want to make a difference, what advice would you give them? I mean, the most important thing is to collaborate with other students because no one can do this alone. Um, we didn't do it alone. We have a team of dozens of people by our sides and it's so important to collaborate with other students because we're in this together. We all went through our tragedy together and obviously on a local scale, they're dealing with whatever problem that affects them together, so. That's a great tip. Do you have a few other tips you can share? Well, m you know, alongside that, I would say that it's very important to work with people who aren't gonna to wanna to work with you. Create a conversation, listen. Uh, we've worked with a lot of adults and elected officials who will tell us that we don't know what we're talking about and to stay in our lane, that we need to sit down and shut up. But at the end of the day, huh. we experience what we experience. We have something to say and our voices are just as important. Be willing to not let your politicians off the hook. They're gonna say things to you that are gonna, they're gonna to try to hold you over. They're gonna throw you a bone. You can't let them do that. It's their job to work for you. Make sure they're doing it. Yeah, I mean, going off of the keeping the politicians on their toes, you have the power to have as much of an educational advantage as them because everything we need to know is at our fingertips on our, on our social media and on the internet. We can know the, every single fact in the world is available to us and we need to utilize that. Well, yes, um, and on your way to the polls when you are going to vote and when you're discussing people who are running for positions, you can look up how they th view things. You don't just have to look at their party letter. You can see what they've done for these issues. You can see what they've done in the past. You can see what they've said. We have access to every single thing we need about the people we're putting into office. And moving off of that, I'd say our last and most important tip is don't be afraid to use your voice. Mm -hmm. No matter how young you are, because we made a huge difference and they can too. To those people who say that youth are too young, to make a difference, what do you say to them? You're wrong. Uh, so many of the greatest differences in this country have been made by the youth. Many people who try to oppress the voices of the youth, who try to get them to sit down, don't want the change to come about. If you are the youth of America and you're being told that, look to history. Mm -hmm. All the greatest things in this country have been started by the youth who are angry, but also controlled and on the right path. Because at the end of the day, the youth is looking towards the future. Mm -hmm. We are creating a foundation for a better world. And the important thing is for people not to be deterred by change that come 
that comes slowly because change in this country has always come over the course of many, many years. So you can't just stop because nothing's happening. You have to keep the ball rolling because one day something will happen. You'll grow weary. You'll feel like there's nothing that's gonna come about your change. And that's because it's a marathon, not a sprint. So keep on fighting, even when it seems like it's all over. It's not, and the, it's, those, it's those rough patches and getting through them that really defines the change that you're going to make. Mm -hmm. And the important thing is to remember when you feel let down, to remember why you started in the first place, because I know that's something that always motivates me when I remember why we started March for Our Lives. It's because of what happened in our school and the 17 lives that can't speak anymore. You know, seeing all those pictures of our friends that we once saw in the halls, that's what keeps us going. And whatever they're fighting for, whatever the students are fighting for in their community, remember why and keep visiting back to that problem because it'll it'll just motivate you from the, like, like how you were motivated from the start.